Hello, I'm Seafood Source Editor Sean Murphy, and welcome to another edition of Seafood Source TV, the bi-weekly blog on SeafoodSource.com where we talk about all the latest news and insights into the seafood industry. Well, the news surrounding takeover bids for Cope Inca continues to get more interesting with yet another party, albeit indirectly, getting in on the action that will determine the future of Peru's largest fish meal and fish oil producer. China Fishery Group made headlines back in February with an unsolicited bid for controlling interest in Cope Inca. The company's board of directors rejected that offer. Then, Norwegian fish farming company Cermax stepped in with a more attractive offer for just over 50% of the company's shares, an offer the Copanca liked better. But then China Fishery came back with a second bid, this time matching Cermax's offer. It looked as though Copanca had a decision to make, but with news that broke late in the day on Tuesday this week, it seems Cermax is the company that now has to make up its own mind. That's because Marine Harvest, another Norwegian company and longtime Cermak rival, made an announcement that it was interested in purchasing Cermak. Marine Harvest's potential offer? 105 Norwegian kroner per share, the rough equivalent of just over 18 US dollars or nearly 14 euros. That offer, disclosed after the Oslo Stock Exchange had closed for the day, was 22% above Cermak's stock price at Tuesday's closing bid. That's a pretty impressive offer, so what's the catch? Marine Harvest hasn't made the offer yet and won't unless Cermak decides to abandon its takeover bid for Copa Inca. According to a statement announced, announcing Marine Harvest's intentions, the company, quote, is offering the shareholders in Cermak the option to choose between two industrially different transactions with significantly different value creation prospects, unquote. It's a surprise twist in a story that started out simple but seems to be growing more complicated by the hour. If Cermax sticks with its original plans, there's a chance it may beat China Fisheries' bid to take over Copenka. But with no other bids on the table yet, if Cermax sells to Marine Harvest, it seems that would pave the way for a China fishery takeover of Copenka after all. Cermax is expected to decide what it plans to do at a company, as, as a company on May 21st at its annual general meeting. You can bet we'll be watching. Meanwhile, it's been about a week since the end of the 2013 European Seafood Exposition in Brussels, Belgium which from now on will be known as Seafood Expo Global. It's part of an ongoing rebranding of all four of the major trade shows produced by Diversified Business Communications, which is the parent company of Seafood Source. We spent last week checking out the expo, and we've uploaded a number of videos to the site for you to see. If you missed the show, they're worth checking out. Just do a search on the site for video to see a list of what we have. That's it for this edition of Seafood Source TV, but as always, we invite you to check back here in two weeks for more news and information from the seafood industry. For now, I'm Seafood Source Editor Sean Murphy saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you online.